On a hot summer day, these UK students could be relaxing by the pool, but instead they're in an unair conditioned garage, working hard to put the finishing touches on their brand new solar car. It's really easy to design simple things that work in a standalone environment, but to put it all together into a car, which is a huge, huge system of all kinds of components working together, that's a very difficult aspect. This year's entry into the 2010 American Solar Car Challenge, which consists of racing around a track and then across the Midwest, is Gato del Sol 4. Team members say this year's experience is completely different than when they worked on their last entry, Gato del Sol 3. We got to see through a uh, entire design and build process and actually get to design a lot of the components on the car, which we weren't able to do for Gato 3. I think we'll show up this year to the race and a lot of the teams would be like, wow, Kentucky's really grown. They've really made strides, which is exciting. It's a lot more aerodynamic. We have much better solar cells. We're hoping that our mechanical stuff is a lot better as well. So when we drive, we drive a lot more efficiently. A benefit the car's driver, Cassie Lum, appreciates, since she says her job isn't easy. It's not the most glamorous job, even though everybody wants to be the driver, because you got to fit in such a small car. It's hot. Um, you know, we don't, we don't get an air conditioner, we don't even have a radio. Despite the car's lack of comfort features, Lum says the experience is worth it. You'll be racing down the track and you'll, you'll see a car flip in front of you or uh, you'll be trying to honk at someone but it's a no passing lane. You get really competitive, that's probably the, the only competitive part because everybody during the race really tries to help out each other. So it's pretty awesome. Still, team members set high expectations for themselves. We've really grown as a team to be a budding solar car team in the community of a lot of teams around the world. Um, so now this year we will be one of the uh, main com competitors in the competition. Hopefully winning. Uh, I'd like to compete a lot better this time than, than the last few times we've raced. No matter what happens, they value what this process has added to their education. And not a lot of people get to work on this type of thing. and especially as students when you're not even in the workplace yet to work with like really advanced technology. It's a great hands-on learning tool, just this whole program and this whole experience. It's really exciting for a race scenario where I get to take it around the country um, through the middle of the Midwest and uh, show it off to people along the way, um, you know, little towns to big towns, Kansas City to you know, Rolla, Missouri, it's, it's all the same, but for real people to see that this technology has come out in our world and that we're making it happen as students. Um, it's exciting. But they say the best part is showing the country what UK students can accomplish. Since I was younger I've always been you know, a hard Kentucky fan in all sports so being able to represent the university is, is pretty exciting for me. It's a lot of pride for us um, to be able to come from you know, where we've gone in the past and have students from around the country on our team but all focusing on the, being a University of Kentucky team and wearing blue with pride every single day of the race. For the University of Kentucky, I'm Amy Jones.